we're going to install the plugins. So click on plugins and then click on add new and then click on upload plugin, choose file. And then we need to click on the images and plugins folder. So we're going to look for the builder typewriter.zip. Okay. So look for that file, click on open and then click on install now and then activate that plugin. Now the next plugin that we're going to install is the contact form plugin. We're going to click on add new and then we're going to search for plugins. So we're going to type in contact form seven and then that should load up within a few seconds. And we want to install the contact form seven by Takayuki and then install now and then click on activate. Okay, so basically if you want to add, you know, different plugins, for example, you might want to add, you know, some booking plugins for your website to accept appointments and stuff like that. You can try and search up, for example, booking. And then there are a range of free and paid plugins here. Most of them are freemium. So basically it'll be free, but if you want some more uh, pro features, then you have to pay. Or you can actually go to Google and then you can type in uh, best booking plugins for WordPress and normally they'll have like a website where it ranks them and then you can check out, you know, which one suits you and whatnot. All right. So that is pretty much it. Now what we're going to do is add in your pages. So we're going to cover over pages and then you're going to click on all pages. So what we're going to do first is we're going to delete the sample page. So we're going to trash that. And then we're also going to go to the trash can here and then delete that permanently. Okay. So to add a new page, all we need to do is to click on add new. The first page that we're going to be adding is the home page. So we just enter in the title here called home and then click on publish. Um, I'm just going to click on that again. Make sure that it says that it has been published here and then click on add new again. The next page we're going to add is about and then I'm going to click on publish. Do it again. Make sure it says that it has been published. Otherwise it weren't published properly. Okay. So we're going to add in the services blog and contact form really quickly. So we're going to do services. You can add pretty much any page or however many pages that you need um, later on. Again, blog page, publish, and then click on add new, and we're going to add in a contact page. Okay, so to check all your pages are added in properly, click on all pages again on the side. And it should have home, about, blog, contact, and services. All right, so let's view our website now. And you should see the pages listed up here. What we're gonna do is sort of arrange the menu. So what we need to do is click on customize. And you'll be directed to Themify options. So we wanna click on the back icon here. The first thing that we wanna do is click on the home page settings. And then you want to select a static page. So as you can see, the pages have disappeared. It's gone into the mobile menu uh, mode. So what you can actually do is if you're on Mac, then click on command and then minus, and that will basically zoom out of your screen. If you're on windows, then you can click on the windows key and then click on minus and that will zoom out and plus to zoom in again. So what we want to do is we want to make sure the home page here is set to the actual